Hey, what's up? It's me, Ben. I'm back with another video on how I make an LED sign. Today, I'm going to show you how I made that bride to be sign. So, a lot of people still ask me about my original sign, the wild one, if it still works. There it is. It works fine. Never had any problem with it. Um, Left it on for hours, even when we had the event. So that was my first attempt ever making it, and uh, I came out pretty good. There was a couple of things I would change a little different. The main thing is the back wiring. Some different stuff today, we're gonna try this one. It's all white line, but it should have uh, both the red and the white line inside. It's just covered in white. Uh, so I'm able to kind of put it in the back a little easier. Same stuff we used last time, uh, Gorilla Glue. Worked great, hasn't moved at all. Those clips, the same flex wiring. So and a razor blade. All right, let's get started. It's a little windy, but here's my template. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than trying to draw it freehand. And this is the plexiglass I'm using. Um, it is 18 inches by 24 inches, and it is 0 0.220 clear. Yeah. right there the black line that's where you're gonna cut if you cut in the center there'll be nothing to attach to those little um the corners that you need to attach to are right at the black line so anywhere you cut you have to measure it out and cut exactly on that black line boom You see those two dots right there? Those are what you're gonna connect to. These are those clips. I don't know if you see it. There's two metal clips in there. That's what's gonna touch. That's what you're gonna make sure. These two clips are gonna touch on the two clips here. And the, the two, um, the little copper and the little metal pieces in here as long as they touch that's will light up so if you're putting this together and it's not following through it's because you're not getting a good connection between these things or the wire but i don't know how much you can see in there those two metal clips have to touch this you're just gonna make sure those clips line up with here and then you just close it and then we're just gonna cut off the excess this is wire should have two in there it's just covered in white slice it with the knife pull this back you don't need to trim these There we go. And so Amazon actually screwed up and sent me the wrong one. It's supposed to have two holes and they set in, but this one has three. Uh, it's a little tighter fit. Uh, let me just see if it works. If it works, it works. Cause I'm already started. Do the same thing to this side. Uh, if you see these, they have three holes. They're supposed to have two, like the one I built last time. But, we'll see if we can get it to work. Pushing those in. Make sure they're going as far as they can. Close it. Clip it. I'm gonna use this 
white one just to see if it works. Get the sides, you're gonna make sure those little copper things or whatever are gonna match and touch the metal in here. Peel back both sides. Push that in. And close it. A moment of truth. No light. So what that either means those clips don't work or I have them in reverse to the positive or negative. Let's switch it out, see what happens. Alright, so you know what that means? I had the ones reverse. So you know how these are color coordinated? I just had them reversed. These are the three, three holes. This is the original one that I had up from the other video. It has two holes, so these are the better ones. Amazon screwed up and sent me these, but uh, it still works. So definitely look for the ones with the two holes, it just makes things easier. But before you try and connect them all and start um, gluing them down, always double check each one to make sure they're working before you do any gluing. 